When I tried to break up with my ex, he sent me a picture of myself eating a steak. You want to be with me even after what I just said? You're making a missed steak. What? Oh, it was a pun. Oh, God. <laughs> That's so painful. <laughs> and I'm only somebody on the outside reading this. Your partner is trying to break up with you and you send him that? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Do I? I laugh? Do I cry? Do I keep making this video? I don't know. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for tuning back in. And welcome once again to some more sad cringe. This is going to be a freaky and uncomfortable video. And I hope you're excited. I've just been a little bit too relaxed today. And I feel like getting freaked out. Thank you all so much for all your support. I really appreciate it. You guys watching my videos, all the lovely comments, all the support on Instagram. I really appreciate it, guys. And with that being said, I hope you enjoy. Oh, look at me. I have a wife. Nice humble brag. And it says the caption was, my wife made me donuts. What? People really can't even mention a spouse on the internet without people whining about it? Yeah, what? Like, maybe they were joking, but ugh. I can't stand it when people just aren't happy for other people and they're just obviously jealous. Like, bro, that's not something to get angry about. Oh, look at me. I have a wife. Yeah, hopefully they're joking. I want to be single forever my life. 100. They're commenting on their own status by the way. 100. Because I want my ex-girlfriend back. Oh god. <laughs> Am I about to cry? Who's gonna tell her? Ask me a question I'm bored. Not a question. Oh god no. <laughs> I've seen so many people that do this. They think that everybody else can't see that they're the ones who are writing in the questions. Not a question, but you're so cute. You're so hot. Oh my god. I love you so much. I'm so glad that we got closer. <laughs> and for anybody at home that doesn't understand like the Instagram story things, they're the ones who are writing them in there. Oh no. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. <laughs> Why did you say you loved me if you didn't? Oh, because you did stuff for me. I don't know. You you were so needy and overly attached. I only stayed with you because you were there. I didn't have anybody else. You were kind of just a placement holder until I was able to find something better. Oh, oh God, I hope that's not real. <laughs> that's so painful to read. What an awful thing to do, though. There's a comment here and it says it's a cringe thing to say and it's a sad thing to hear. Yeah, cringe is an understatement statement. That's bloody awful. Okay, so this one is on Depop, as in somebody is trying to sell clothes and they wrote this in the caption. So here's the deal. Me and my girlfriend of six years just broke up and I've been in a world of crap since. It's been six months, but I saw her in July and now she's ghosting me and hooking up with dudes from Tinder. I can't let this happen. She's 3,000 miles away right now on the other side of the country. Country. I need to sell as much stuff as I can to get the money to go over there and try to win her back. Please buy my stuff. Ask me about pricing and I'll change it. I just need to get enough money to go. I'm leaving October 10th with my friend who needs his stuff driven across the country. You're buying cool stuff, but you're also helping me get the woman of my dreams back, hopefully. Thanks for reading this. If you read this far, have a blessed day. Don't buy this, obviously. Wait a second, is that real? Real? You know, because that could be like a really elaborate way to try to sell all your stuff on Depop. But on the other hand, if that's real, that is so sad. But also sad as in like, I feel sad for the person. But what do you do in that situation? I hope everything works out for the best, dude. <laughs> After rejecting him and blocking his three Instagram accounts, Snapchat, Twitter, and email, this mother flipper takes to Discord to tell me to smile more. If you smile more, it looks like your life is together. Oh, Like, obviously, I don't know the context of this situation, but, like, that's so gross. And also, the fact that you had to block their email, that's ridiculous.
ridiculous. Okay, so hear me out on this. I have a bunch of movie theater gift cards from work that have been stacking up because I don't want to go see a movie by myself. What if we happen to be at the theater at the same time for the same movie and I happen to offer you one of my gift cards? It could be a pre-arranged time and then we don't even have to sit next to each other during the movie or talk to each other. And then when the movie's over, we could just go our separate ways and that would be the end. I think that sounds fun. Oh my God, if you think that sounds fun, you're out of your mind. Bro, you're talking about going to a movie by yourself still. You have a whole bunch of movie tickets because you don't want to go to the cinema on your own. So you offer to give them to somebody else and go to a movie at the same time as you, but not even sit near each other or talk to each other. So what, you're just going to look at them in the distance or something? What's going on here? This one is on Bumble. See who liked you with 50% off premium. Zero people already liked you. <laughs> oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> but don't forget the sale upgrade for $16.99. So zero more people can like you. <laughs> oh, they're just rubbing it in your face. That's so mean. Keep your chin up. Everything will be okay. Today I effed up by getting the team mad at me by being mean and getting some girls. Oh God, I already know where this is going. I've always been a girls guy. A guy who gets girls. <laughs> okay. I'm in ninth grade and I was talking to the rest of my sports team. What happened at that point was I realized that some hot girls were watching us. I'd guess me the most, so. Oh yeah, some hot girls. After I noticed they were watching us, I started being an idiot to the lamest guy in the group since I thought he wouldn't fight back. Everyone laughed when I made fun of him and I could tell the girls watching thought I was the cool guy in the group. After that, I think it's no coincidence that one of the hot girls watching later kept looking at me and eventually made some small talk with me. And I started realizing how easy it was to get all these hot girls numbers. Well, funny enough, I ended up hooking up with these hot girls and it was all because I was mean. Anyway, some of the guys got mad at me, so it was a freak up, but I guess worth it. Any questions? <laughs> wow, that did not happen. <laughs> <laughs> like 100%. I really don't think I'm wrong for saying that. That's like the most made up thing I think I've ever read. Ladies, do you have a crush on me? 100% no. Yeah, but like why would you do that? Obviously they're gonna say no. Do you think everybody has a crush on you? Surely not. I've been thinking about this for a long time. Would you be my GF? GF? I thought we were just friends. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. That's what I meant anyway, lol. GF equals good friends. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> it's like that one where they had a ring on their finger and they were like, oh, this is a friendship engagement. Yeah. <laughs> now I want to cry. Lily tried to call. Oh, sorry. I didn't get to pick up. Let me call you back. No, that was an accident. I don't want to call you. Oh, God. Like a dagger to the heart. <laughs> that is so brutal and just so mean. No, I don't want to call you unless the other person's done something really wrong. That's super rude the way they said that. Entire garden has been handed these. Tonight's chant is Trey is balding. At only 22 years old, Trey's hair is thinning at an alarmingly fast pace and he has a bald spot forming on the crown of his head. This will be a much more effective chant to take advantage of high home court and throw Trey off his game. Oh, that's so mean. <laughs> Imagine if you're playing basketball and everybody there is like, you are balding, you are balding. I don't care who you are, dude. I'd probably go home crying. What the hell? That's awful. We're gonna need some wholesome memes soon, guys. I'm posting my wife for the 74th day. Yeah, okay. And if that's what you're into, that's totally fine. <laughs> I'm gonna 
read some wholesome memes. I've had just about enough sad cringe for one day. When someone says thank you to you after you saved their life in an online game, you are, uh, yes, <laughs> I'm a good person. Bae, come over, me. I can't, sorry. I'm studying for my finals. Bae, okay, good luck. Do your best. Me, studying. <laughs> oh, what a wholesome moment. We love a supportive person. Is it here? Uh, no. Here. Yeah, that's the spot. Thanks, Gator. I hate it when my back is itchy. <laughs> oh my god, I love these alligator ones. We read these all the time on here. That's from buddygator.com. I need to go read some of these. And on that wholesome note, I'm gonna leave today's video here, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you didn't get too cringed out. Today's comment of the day goes to my face be high. My favorite quote from that episode, a Simpsons episode. We tried nothing and we're all out of ideas. <laughs> yeah, the Hurricane Nettie episode. That's so good. Yeah, you've got to help us, Doc. We've tried nothing and we're all out of ideas. Thank you guys so much for all your ongoing support. I really appreciate it. And by the way, if you want to put Simpsons quotes in the comments, feel free anytime. Have a beautiful rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you next time.